MyBetas, formerly known as iBetas, is a data mapper framework that has made it easy to work with relational database and Java objects. It was built around giving developers the control to manage SQL statements and is typically the choice for organizations that have segregated database and data modeler teams with stringent code review processes. In this tutorial, we'll take an introductory look at MyBetas. Before diving into code, is it important to understand high-level components of MyBetas? SQL Session Factory is an entity that knows about environment environment, data sources, transaction management, and mappers. Mappers, just as they sound, are in charge of mapping SQL to and from Java objects. They hide the JDBC data access code you might have traditionally written. As MyBetas evolved, it has given developers configuration options using XML, Java, and annotations. We will generate a project through the command line using Maven's quick start archetyped and import the project into Eclipse. Next, adding MyBetas, JUnit, and Derby as palm dependencies will bring in the next necessary files into our class path. If you aren't familiar with Derby, Derby is an embedded database written in Java that iBetas will be configured to connect to. Let's create an agency POJO object that has two fields, an ID that is an integer and a name that is a string, which will be returned from calling a MyBetas mapper. Next, creating a MyBetas config XML file that will contain properties such as database provider, MyBetas mappers, and many more which will be used to configure MyBetas. You can see See there is a reference agency-mapper.xml file that contains information on how to execute SQL queries and map to and from an agency object. Examining the file contents, the mapper XML element namespace is now required and allows the ability to isolate statements and bind to interfaces. Breaking down the select statement, the select tag allows us to execute a SQL statement to retrieve data from the database. The ID is a unique identifier within the namespace and will be referenced from the Java code. The result type is a string that represents a class name or alias for the type of object MyBetas will return. This is really where the magic happens. MyBetas will use the custom names generated from the result set and map them to the Java object based on the Java Bean specification. In other words, MyBetas knows what class it needs to create and for each column it will dynamically call the setter method within the object. In our example, set ID and set name. In the instance your column name doesn't match your object attribute, you can alias the column within the SQL statement. There are two additional update statements that will be used to seed the local data store. Now that we have the configuration XML files defined, we can begin writing some Java code. Let's break down the unit test class. The setup method, which will run before any of the test cases by using the before annotation, will read the mybetas-config.xml file and build a SQL session factory class. Remember, the SQL session factory class is the brain and knows what statements are available and what database to execute it against. Following the build and calling the seed data method, we'll populate the database with some dummy data. Next, calling a SQL session .select one will pass the namespace plus the ID while the select one method will return a single agency object. In this case, com.levelup.agency is the namespace and select agency is the select statement which we want to be executed. Under the covers, MyBetas has an internal code that breaks apart the mapping statement, but at a high level, you can think of it as, as it translates into a prepared statement setting a parameter of 10. Finally, calling the teardown method will close the session and any connections to the database. Once the code executes, we should see the agency object that we wrote a query for. There's a lot more to my betas, but this should have given you an introductory look at the high-level components. As you decide on an ORM or move forward with integrating into your environment, be sure to look into connection pooling and how my betas integrates with frameworks such as Spring. Thanks for joining in today's Level Up Lunch. Have a great day.